Welcome to Dasher's All Access. I'm Aaron Martin, Brittany Toulis. We got a lot going on today. What are we talking about? Today we're talking about Friday's game against Berlin and Saturday and Sunday's games against Dayton. And also our owner Barry Soskin stopped by and we had a little chat with him. There were a lot of suspensions this past couple of days in the whole FHL. And we had one too. We actually had a, we had a suspension for Safinati to get suspended for three games. Port Huron though, I think, it was about six or seven players. Including the coach. Yeah, plus the coach along with their assistant coach Joe Pace. So, and I believe you talked uh, a little bit to Barry Soskin about that. I did talk a little to Barry Soskin about it. And he didn't say much about the suspensions. Um, it, he kind of hinted that he didn't agree with some of them. They've been bad boys. Uh, whether I agree or not, I go along with the flow. You know, the, there's a way to change it, but it's not as easy as everybody thinks. But as, from an owner's standpoint, you have to understand that there is a little bias there. So how do you think the Danville Dasher season have been going so far? Good. I've been really happy with it. Um, first of all, you know, we've been doing this now for five years, and we started out not having the greatest of uh, seasons on the ice. It's been a lot better the last couple of years, and it certainly is great when you see a place filled and, and the, the town starting getting involved and getting used to it and getting into it. it. It's great to be part of it. What would you like to see from the Dashers this rest of the season? I like to, at the end of the season, I'd like for us to win our last game that we play. That, that would be nice. That uh, would be great. And we can start sizing up for rings, uh, but um, I, I just like to see more of the same. I like to see Steve move some players up. I like to see guys get their opportunity at the next level. I certainly like to see it when the next man steps up and, and fills in that role. But, you know, I, I love it when the fans come here and cheer. I love to see the place rocking, and I hope it continues. Yeah, I think this franchise has nowhere but up to go. And for the record, my ring size is six. <laughs> Speaking of Soskin, though, we had a we had another Soskin yeah. show up here today, and a Brian lot of Soskin's back. A lot of Dasher fans were excited to hear that. I know there were some Dasher players who were excited to hear that. And yeah. I think you got to, you got to sit down and talk with Brian. I did. I got to sit and talk to Brian before the game, and this is what he said. How is it to be back in Danville as a Dasher? It feels good. Uh, it has that home feeling. This is where I started my career at, so it's always nice to come back here. Is it a permanent stay, do you think, or is it? Just, are we just borrowing you? Uh, I hope it's permanent. Um, you know, I had a dirty taste left in my mouth after losing last year in Game 5 of the Finals. So I'd love to win a championship. Uh, I'm going to try to do everything I can to do that. Okay, so I'm here with the infamous shirtless Dashers. What made you guys start doing this? We just love Danville! And we love the Dashers! Yeah. We love Danville Dasher! You guys have a favorite Danville Dasher. Yeah. yeah. Who? Soskin. Soskin's back today. He's I here. know, that's why I'm excited. Yeah. Is that why you guys came out? Yes, that's yeah. the only reason. <laughs> and we're really good fans. So Leslie, last week when we talked to you about a Dasher that you're missing, yes. who'd you say? What does bother me is seeing Brian Soskin's over there, because he was always one of my favorite Dashers, and I wish he'd come home. Who's on the team now? Brian Soskin. <laughs> Are you excited to have him back? I am really excited to have him back. He's such a go-getter. I went to hockey in heels, and one of the questions we asked the other players were if there was any team members that had left the team that you would really, really like to see back again, and they were unanimous on Brian Soskin. It was a good victory tonight. I'm hopefully we can keep that momentum rolling for the next couple of games. Agreed, and like you were talking about the team defense, I like when we have a lot more of our sweaters in front of our net than the other teams. That's how we clear the trash out. And also on offense, we've kind of had more of our sweaters around. So let's just keep our guys around both goals. Under the new tutelage of Joe Pace the Sr., who is now their coach, I, he, they've been on fire. And they are, uh, they are fast approaching that number four seed right now. I'm standing here with Joe Pace. Uh, Joe, how's it going tonight? Good, 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 good. You kind of on a downhill uh, slide there for a little bit before you took over. After, what can you attribute to the uh, the current upswing? The upswing is all character. It starts at the top with ownership, uh, coach, general manager, equipment manager, right down to the players, the guys that work the video, Lee Moen, the announcer, play by play. I mean, it's all one joint effort, and everybody's coming together. With what they've gone through, it's pretty amazing that uh, the guys are focused and doing their job. So we just finished our game against Dayton. We won again, three to two. I gotta tell you, I almost had a heart attack there at the end. Uh, 52 With, seconds oh, left. Their uh, their coach, Joe Pace Sr., 
He called a timeout, 52 seconds left. They pulled the home goalie and scored, and they almost scored again yes. right there with about with seven the, seconds yeah, left. Yeah, big scramble in, in front of our net, in front of Anthony. I'm attributing a lot of this win to our defense today. I was so pleased. There was never a shot that Anthony faced without a backup. Yeah, they, they really did a good job of funneling in one person, not allowing the pass out. Yes. Didn't show too much at the beginning of the game. I will admit, at the beginning of the game, we seemed kind of flat, but we did come out second period on and we were just on it. Uh, Lavac was all over the place this hitting people. Just what I was going to say. One guy that was on all night I think was Lavac. He started up the season, he was good, but he was just kind of there. He has been increasingly better and I hope it just keeps going up. I hope, I hope that it just keeps rolling because when he is physical oh, like that, baby. he usually is putting people on completely, the yeah, Two guys completely at once. on the ice. Well, <laughs> the Astro Nation, we are uh, our last broadcast because um, we're on the ice. So right now, right, what we're doing is we're trying not, to fall. <laughs> trying not to fall. We're on the ice with the dashers. This is like the skate with. Yeah. And, and uh, I'm shaking. So if the camera shakes, like, um, I've been telling myself if I can rollerblade, I can do this, but I don't think it's gonna work. All right, I'm here with Dylan. Dylan, who's your favorite player? Number seven. You like Justin Bronson? Why? Because uh, tonight he made a good goal and we did good. We did good. Uh -huh. All right, can I get a go Dashers? Go Dashers! All right. We did lose 4-2 to two tonight. That sucks. But we are having fun. Right now I'm going to take you to Brittany Tulis. I don't want to hang on Who's trying <laughs> Pepper.